Hey, I hope you're doing well today. I am doing well myself. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my progress through Baby Step 3. And if you don't know, Baby Step 3 is Step 3 in Dave Ramsey's 7 Steps to Wealth Building. Now, Baby Step 3 is to save 3 to 6 months of living expenses in an emergency fund. Now, before you get to the rest of the video, I want to hear from you. Where do you think I am with Baby Step 3? Do you think I'm done? If so, put in the comments, you're done, yay! And if I have a little ways to go, put almost there, thumbs up, okay? Let me know in the comments if you think I'm done or almost there. Now on to the numbers. Okie dokie artichokey. My six months emergency fund goal is $10,850. It's technically 10,848, but I rounded it up. I also, at the beginning of 2020, looking out ahead and realizing that I was gonna become debt-free in 2020, set a goal for the year of $5,000 in my emergency fund. So I knew that by the end of the year, I was gonna turn my attention towards saving into that emergency fund, and I wanted to have at least $5,000 to end the year with. And so you wanna keep that in mind as I go along as well. So I'm gonna go through some of the balances just from 2020, the balance is at the end of each month and then what my balance is today. So starting with January 2020, I ended the month with $1,002.61. So normally that anything over $1,000 is interest I've earned in my Capital One account. So as you know, baby step one is to save $1,000 in your emergency fund. And I have mine saved in my Capital One online account. I love it. You know, I stand Capital One. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, the referral link is in the description. But that is where I have my emergency fund housed. So at the end of February, I have a balance of $1,003.95. And so around this time, we started to hear about the coming panoramic. We weren't exactly sure how it would affect us and it may be a better idea to just save money as opposed to paying down debt. And I was on the fence about this for a little while. I saw the finish line ahead of me and I really wanted to pay down debt, but it was a much better decision to save that money. So in February, I established another Capital One savings account. But in my main account, at the end of March, I had a balance of $1,002.33. At the end of April, now of course you know in April we got the first stimulus around mid-April. At the end of April, I had a balance of $1,001.22. That stimulus money went to that other savings account. So in May, I decided that all that money I was stacking in that other savings account, I was not gonna use it to pay off my debt. Instead, I would use it to build my three to six months living expenses sort of ahead of finishing paying off my debt or baby step two. And so in May, I moved that balance over to this savings account. And at the end of May, had a balance of $8,107.37. So I was able then to check off the goal I had made for 2020 to have at least $5,000 saved in that account and only had 2,700 to go before I finished my six months emergency fund. At the end of June, my balance was $8,176.17. At the end of July, $8,184.24. At the end of August, $8,190.88. And so in September, I became debt free within that second week of September, all right? And at the end of the month, had $6,869.91. So around that time, I helped someone out. I was getting some things done around the house. Y'all know I was getting my siding fixed on the house. So my savings dipped down a little bit, but I was able to get those things checked off and start to rebuild from there. In October, I ended with $7,172.85. November... $7,675.98. December ended with $10,638.32. Of course, you know, in December towards the end, we got that second stimulus. Hopefully most of you have already received it. So I entered the new year having $211.56 left to go. So let's see if you are right. If you said you're done, yay, then you were right. 
On January 6th, I moved over that last $211.56 to meet my total of $10,850 in my six month emergency fund. And technically as the baby step stand, I am done with baby step three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baby step three is done and I'm elated, you know, especially through the year we had, you know, someone had made a comment that they were impressed that I was able to get it done so quickly. I had mentioned in the last video that it felt like it took a long time, but then it didn't take a long time. And when she made that comment, she said that most people take a year to establish their emergency fund. And I was thinking, it has been a while. I don't know why I was thinking that it had just been September because it definitely had not. It had been a while and I kind of stair-stepped up again with what was going on in 2020. I was able to stash a good bit of it away and then finish it up after I had paid off that last debt in September. I mean, wow, it's an amazing feeling to have that money set aside and to feel free to, to do more things. I feel free to invest. So I'm really excited to get to that. As you know, baby step four is to invest 15% of your income to retirement. I'm already investing 6% in my company's 401k. So that would leave another 9% to make sure is invested otherwise. And I'm gonna tell you, knowing that I can contribute to my 2020 Roth IRA up until April 15th, the tax deadline of this year, I mean, it's a no brainer. I'm gonna try to max out that Roth IRA. It's $6,000 for an individual single person like myself. And so I am gonna to try to max that out. If that's 9%, cool. If it happens to be 30%, that's what we're going with. I think it's just a great opportunity to be able to do that, establish the Roth in 2021, and still be able to contribute to my 2020 Roth IRA. So that is the very next step in this wealth building journey of mine, is to contribute to my 2020 Roth IRA and hopefully max it out by the April 15th tax deadline. So you know I've listed goal after goal after goal, but that is the immediate goal. You may be wondering, where are you gonna establish your Roth IRA? I have thought long and hard about it, watched countless videos, read articles, and gathered as much information as I can, and narrowed it down to Fidelity, Vanguard, and Charles Schwab. Of course, you all weighed in and gave me great suggestions. And after thinking everything through and comparing index funds, I decided to go with Charles Schwab. My 401k is with Charles Schwab and it's a company that I trust. They have great customer service. I'm able to invest in the total stock market index fund, the S&P 500 index fund. I mean, it's a great company and just one I have a great history with and one I feel very comfortable using their platform. I'm really thrilled moving forward with investing through my Roth IRA with Charles Schwab. Now I'm gonna share this with you because I didn't even know this existed. Now, let me be clear with this disclaimer that it is important for you to determine where you should establish your investment accounts, do your research, figure out what is best for you, what is easiest for you to do, do thorough research. If you've done all your research and you're gonna go with Schwab anyway, whether I said so or not, I have a referral link in the description. Using that referral link gives you the opportunity to earn a bonus of up to $500. Again, please don't be swayed by just that initial amount. Do your research, get some extra money by using that referral link for no other reason but to get some extra money and because you had already decided you were gonna do it, okay? I just wanna make sure you don't come back and say, hey girl, I was trying to do that referral link because I don't even think I get anything. I just wanna make sure that you get something if you've already decided you're gonna go with Charles Schwab. I'm going with Charles Schwab just because of their customer service and I know them and I trust them. They have index funds comparable to Vanguard index funds and that's what ultimately helped me make my decision. So yes, baby step three complete. And on to investing with my 2020 Roth IRA. Oh, it is both daunting and exciting and I can't wait to share more of that with you if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Give this video a like so YouTube can share the video with others. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you around. Bye.